What's up, bag people? Welcome to the Ultimate Bag Guy channel. I'm starting this channel because I love bags and all things bags. Pockets, zippers, slide bars, straps, mesh pockets, sometimes mesh pockets. Um, so I'm just going to start reviewing all the bags that I carry uh, every day and even for camping, maybe hiking. Who knows how far this that this will go. Uh, I started switched over to using uh, everyday carry bag maybe a couple years ago. When, after I got into everyday carry stuff, uh, carrying knives and flashlights and all kinds of crazy crap started to get a little too much and your pockets get a little bit too bulky and heavy, I was like, ah, I'm going to switch over to a bag. And then I had a couple kind of like slings or purses, I don't care what you call them, call them whatever, um, slings, purses, uh, fanny packs. I like fanny pack styles, but I like to wear them as like a satchel. And uh, I finally found one that I super duper love and it's uh, a little late to the game, but it's the... Peak Designs uh, Field Pouch. I super love it. I carried it for a long time, and then I kind of like wanted to tweak it a little bit. I don't know, it just wasn't kind of, for my carry style, I wasn't really feeling it, so I made a couple alterations, and I switched to a couple other bags that I'll review, kind of like some standard uh, just fanny packs. But um, I made some alterations, and now I freaking love it. Uh, the first thing that I didn't like when I first got this bag, they didn't have... Peak Designs didn't have the uh, slide straps, camera straps out yet, so they only had the leash, I think, unless I wasn't privy to it. Um, but I got the leash, and it was a little too thin. You know, I'm a big guy, and kind of, I feel like not that wasn't horribly uncomfortable, but kind of like cut into me or whatever. So um, I actually made another strap, which is just like a gray, like webbing strap. I wish it was uh, nylon or something, but I think it's just like cotton or canvas something like that, but I just sewed everything on there, threw in, threw on a buckle, that's one thing I do like about fanny packs, is I like how it has the buckle on them, so if you want to take them off, you can also take them off just like that, or just like to switch it over real quick, um, Peak Designs didn't have that on their camera strap, I don't think they have that option on any of their camera strap, but they do have that option on their 5 liter sling, but I think it's, that's a, that strap is attached to the bag, so that only comes on the sling, and it's like a littler hook. I saw someone else do a video on it where it has like the little hook, and it looked a little difficult. Um, where I love these straps because they're just like bam. Just got this guy. I think I got Joanne's fabric where I got the belt stuff, and I threw a little uh, tri slide on it, so it can like open up pretty easily. That's one of the things that I really do love about Peak Designs. I have. I don't know where it is, but I have their everyday messenger, and uh, when I was going to class, or if I'm going to a coffee shop to do work or something, I love that bag. Uh, it's just too big. I just don't carry my laptop around. If I'm carrying my laptop in a book and a water bottle, I'll definitely carry the everyday messenger. My favorite bag of all time. Uh, I'll review that one a little later. But for now, this is what I've been carrying so far, like I said. So this is just, uh, I custom made this um, strap, and like I said, it's kind of cool. It has that little... Uh, reflective thing. I don't know if you see it there. So that's kind of cool with it. Um, I kind of use the bag for like different things. So if you're familiar with Peak Designs, and I have it somewhere too. I take photos on that pretty good, so I don't really become a photographer. But they have this capture a mechanism that you can lock your camera on there and have like one hand access. And that's what this little pouch is for. So let's kind of get into the bag, I guess, now. It's like a roll top style bag that's like velcroed and so this is this is it it's like super clean looking i love how it's like very compacted even when you're wearing it nothing really shakes around in there too much and it sits close to your person it's not all like out there you can roll it up real tight like i said it stays real tight it's pretty waterproof there's somebody that did a video where a dude gets in the shower with it and then like it absolutely holds fine but it didn't I know water got in, he had a piece of paper in there, nothing got wet. Um, and it has like, so these little straps, so I just attached the strap to this little strap area where the um, the leash, actually, I took the little quick releases off here. They usually go in there. This is cool because it has a big, it's not a pocket, but like you can put a pretty thick belt in there. Probably like up to like a three inch size belt. I don't know why you would ever have that. Or you can go through like these regular loops, these small loops. I really, really like how they have that option. Um, the bottom's like super durable. Like I've had this for a while, like and it really sits on the floor. But it's like a I don't even know what kind of material that is. I should have figured it out. Um, but it's pretty grippy and it's pretty strong. But 
let's kind of open her up. I have all my stuff in here, so because I just like to show how it, how small it is and how it sits like really close to your like said to your person. I like how this style of flap, as compared to zippers, is like. Imagine this hand isn't here, but if like it's on your side and you want to get into it, all you have to do is open it up and you have access to the whole bag. Like you can pull anything out and then close it right back up and you're good to go. You can do that with zipper bags too, but then with the zipper bags, it depends on the bag. Sometimes if they're slack in the zipper, you get that little pinch and it like doesn't come. So you gotta like use two hands and like, which isn't a big deal, but like I said, I like to have everything kind of one hand access. Um, so that's a little quick capture thing. It looks like a belt loop, but it's for their quick capture that Peak Designs makes. What I do with it is I throw my little, I have a little Spyderco in there. So I just throw my little Spyderco in there, that carbon fiber one. And because I have that little like, like makeshift wave feature with the, with the little zip tie. So that, I don't know, it's like assisted open that you have it in your pocket. It stays in there pretty good. It never, it doesn't, it doesn't really come out, you know, it kind of catches on it. You have to brush against something and then to kind of take it out and kind of open it up like that. Like I said, it could be one handed. It's fun. So, again, into the bag. I love how it's designed with the pockets. There's pockets, there's mesh, there's so many real good, good things in the bag. Let me see if I can open it up for you guys. Let's see if you can see it. One of the first things I did with this bag was I put this little light on it. So, let's see if you can see it. Come off of light. So, isn't this ever dark in there? In there? Huh. Click this little guy on, and then I think you can see in it like it's a cool little light I just picked up from REI. And like I said, I like how it's one hand, so it's like boom, boom, on off. But oh, it blinks! Oh, you know, it blinks. How did I do that? I've never had it blink. I don't know. If running out of battery. I don't know. Anyways, so there it is. Got that guy going. Put that in there. But so the but the back's pretty basic, but I feel like it's just laid out really well. So let's start from this, the front kind of side. You have this pocket in here. It's a zippered pocket on the inside, which is really cool. Open it all the way, and it's like a red interior. It's really nice. I keep like my chapstick in there. I got my little Leatherman wave, or not wave, squirt in there. You got a little squirt in there. And that's just one giant pocket. I saw in a couple of videos that before, maybe in the, Early, earlier versions this was stitched together so you might get one that's stitched so they're two separate pockets and somebody did a video where they just cut that down the middle and opened it to be one big pocket mine came like that so that's cool if peak designs took the uh suggestion of their followers and got it like that and made it so it's just one or maybe mine was a return and someone like cut it and then return it i don't freaking know but mine came like that um and then in the main the main pocket area so that's the just zip that up close that Boom. So then there's like the main area of the bag that's lined with this felt. So if you do have camera stuff and lenses, um, it's pretty soft on it. I wouldn't say it's padding, but it's not like super harsh. So it's nice and soft uh, right in there. And then when you get to the top, I love, love, love these. They're not mesh. Peak Design said it's like a stretchy, almost like super soft t-shirt fabric material, probably for like Again, so it doesn't scratch camera lenses. But this, like, see if I have anything that will fit in there. This, like, fits the form of anything you put in there. Like, see how you can see my fingers coming out? Here, look, I have this little, yeah, this little guy. Here, that's a little bird. There's a little bird. See, like, you can put it in there. And see how, like, fits the form. You see a little, little beak popping out. It's like a bird. I love that. It's like, and it's not like mesh, typical mesh stuff. I feel like if you have, like, little carabiners or, um, little key rings they always get stuck in the mesh and like little clips so like i also carry this little through night tie three in there everything gets stuck in the mesh when you're pulling it out and i've had mesh rip a bunch of times so i like this like t-shirt material so you got two of those pockets they have the different color so if you have cameras it means like full battery not full battery um red and black the stitching see the black stitching right there you can see so it has the red stitching right there so you can See which SD cards or batteries are full and not full. Uh, I also have my little through night. I love through night. Um, I've been carrying this around maybe for like a couple months. It might be too big. I don't know, but I like having a super bright light. So I might take out that tie three. I don't know. But that's another thing I did. I love how 
on the everyday messenger bag they utilize the magnet for the strap so speaking of magnets what i did with this because i don't really like when it falls down like that because if i have my little bellroy wallet on top of there then i like i kind of have to like it's harder to get to i like the things to be easier so what i did is i stand it up and i sewed in a little magnet in there so it stays see it's kind of like wiggling on the magnet it stays standing up and that's all it is it's like a little strong magnet i forgot where i got it i don't know but look, let's see if i can show it to you let me get a little close up this. i just put it in like a little little piece of plastic that's the magnet right there look at him look at him go let's see yeah see that's a little little magnet guy and there we are. see it's pretty strong i'm surprised how strong it is but that was cool but then again, like I said, that's just what I, for my custom kind of carry. Um, I know it's weird to say like, oh, it fits my carry, but like I like things a certain way. And I feel like most people, if you care about your gear and you care about how you carry it, you do want things a certain way. And it's just your style of things. It's kind of like that, I don't know, people like tip up carry, your knife tip down carry. We're a weird group, people that carry, everyday carry stuff. So I got that in there. That's like my other little mod in there. And then it has these two back pockets which are like stiffer pockets that don't stretch, which are, um, you can keep all kinds of stuff in there. I used to keep all my stuff in like a little Altoids tin and shove it in there. So like an Altoids tin to get size fits perfectly in there. Um, so overall, I mean, it's, it's a super simple bag, but like I said, it's really nice because it's, it's super thin. Like I said, even when I put my wallet in there or I'll throw my phone in there too. Like I said, it's really easy access. In and out, it's like, boom. You got to get you. This Velcro is pretty good too. Like I said, I've had it for a while. I've never had a problem with it not sticking because I'll just get, you know, let's throw it down, give it a run, and it's good. It sticks. It's not going to come loose on you. It's not going to come loose on you. Um, so if you never tried a roll top style for like a um, fanny pack, I definitely suggest this bag. I think it goes for around 40, 50 bucks, somewhere like that. Uh, the straps get a little pricey. That's another reason why I made my own straps because I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like the slide until unless they put, like I said, this kind of a quick release feature on their things. I'm pretty sure none of their straps have it, which makes sense. I mean, if they're, they're camera straps, you wouldn't want like a weak point on your strap if you have a super expensive camera on it. But for like an everyday carry, that would be cool to make a strap that has like a super quick release thing right there for like fanny packs and stuff. Um, yes, yeah, so that's basically the bag. Uh, it comes in a couple different colors, maybe more now. They have like a blackout, like a murdered out, all black. This I like this like heathered kind of gray material. It's like canvas. It's like super waterproof. I've never had it, like I said, I've never had anything get wet in there. And like I said, luckily you can have it super tight on you. you can throw it around you. Like I said, you can have like one-handed one access to everything. Like your phone, you can get your wallet. And then when you close it, it's just boom, and you're on your way. You never have to use your other hand. You never have to fool around with it like that. Um, yeah, so that's the Peak Designs field pouch. This is my first review. Probably went a little fast, but I know that there's so many different reviews on this bag. So I just wanted to give you some of the little custom things that I did to kind of fit in my style, um, like the light. That'd be cool. Peak Designs throwing a light, because I know a lot of people shoot at night too. Instead of having like a big old headlight, just looking at the bag, that'd be cool click a little bag so yep thanks for watching guys see you next time stay up bag people and remember if it wearies i carries ultimate bad guy